What's up guys, welcome to DIY Car Projects. I'm Caleb. Today we are going to be working on my Audi A4 Quattro Avant Sport B5. I think, I think that's all the, the classifications. But anyway, we're, today we're working on my Audi. We're gonna be replacing the valve cover gasket. It's a 1.8T, which means it's a four cylinder, so it's super easy. Uh, so if you have uh, a car that needs a valve cover job done or uh, maybe you just want to try something new. This is a really easy one to start on. It's not hard to do at all. I'm going to walk you through it so that you'll know how to do it on your car. Let's get to it. Alright, so if you're new to working on cars, valve cover gaskets are probably the easiest gasket to replace. Everything's right there in front of you, especially if you have a four cylinder. It's just super easy, so it's a good place to start if you're wanting to learn how to work on your car. Uh, this valve cover is pretty simple. All of the bolts are right there in front of you. You can see them all. Uh, they go around the outside of the valve cover, and then there's, I think, three in the middle. So I just loosened each of those, uh, unplugged my spark plugs, and, uh, and ran all of the bolts out so that I could remove this valve cover. After you get that out, there's some clips on the front that hold on the time belt cover. Uh, they're really easy. You just pull the two clips off and that loosens the time belt cover. And then you can go through and pull out your coil packs. They're just held in there uh, really by suction, I guess. And so just pull up on them and they'll come right out. Next, you're gonna to move to the back of the valve cover. There is a crankcase breather hose system on the back. You don't really have to know what that does. All you need to know is that it needs to be disconnected. And so, uh, there's some hoses that run down the side of the motor and back to that T fitting in the back. So you're just gonna to wanna to loosen all those, disconnect them from the valve cover, and that's gonna allow you to have enough space to actually pull the valve cover off of you. If the vacuum hoses are stuck, uh, sometimes if the cars are older, the, uh, the rubber will kind of dry and get stuck to the vacuum hose. You can take a screwdriver and pry it lightly and uh, you should be able to pull that vacuum hose out. Okay, next you're gonna have to lift the valve cover. You don't wanna pry it. This valve cover does not have to be pried, uh, so it should come off fairly easily. I had some trouble just getting it clear of everything that was surrounding it, um, but it should be a pretty easy thing to pull off. You definitely wanna pull up lightly on it. These things are made out of aluminum, it's not super thick, and so it is fairly easy to crack, especially if you pry it. So just wiggle it a little bit, try to get it loose, and you should be able to get it off. Now, this is a good time to inspect uh, the top end of your motor. If you've got a lot of sludge here, if you've got a lot of black uh, kind of carbon buildups, that's a problem. I actually thought I would because of the oil pressure light that I was getting, but uh, really the engine looks pretty good. I didn't see a whole lot of sludge. I really didn't see any at all. Uh, this is basically what your engine should look like as long as it's been taken care of and you know it's, it's had the right oil and everything like that. So next I just remove the gasket. You can just pull up on it. Uh, you really want to try to get it off in one piece. These metal type gaskets are pretty easy. Uh, but pull the, pull the gasket off around the edges and the gasket. Don't forget the gasket that's around the spark plugs. So then you just slide your new gasket into place. Uh, again, make sure that it's sitting right, especially in the back. There's a little half moon gasket type thing that needs to be in the right position so that this valve cover doesn't leak. And then I went around and I put black RTV, I think it's like 500 degree RTV, um, on the corners and basically anywhere the gasket turns. So uh, on each corner and then over the back, there's kind of a, a loop looking thing. And so I put some RTV there. That's really just to make sure this thing seals and doesn't leak on me. Then I laid down the spark plug gaskets, uh, just put them into their place, and I slid the valve cover back on. Again, this is not something that needs a lot of pressure, so don't force this thing down. Once you get it in the right place, it's going to drop right in and you can tighten your bolts. So now you can go around and put the bolts back on and the nuts back on and uh, just make sure everything's kind of hand tight. This is when it's really good uh, to organize your bolts, make sure that you keep everything together. I just use Ziploc bags to do that. It makes these jobs way easier. You're not looking for bolts if you're putting everything back together. 
So after you get everything hand tight, you're gonna go through and tighten each one up. Uh, I think the torque spec is seven foot pounds, uh, so not very tight at all. So you'll start in the center and work your way out in a crisscross motion. And after you get all of these bolts tightened down, you should be good to go. Uh, you can drive your car around for a while. Always check for leaks. Normally if you're leaking out of one part, it's because a bolt's not tight. And so you can just snug that bolt down and you should be good to go. Hope this tutorial helped you guys and that you will be able to change your own valve cover gasket on your car as well. We'll see you soon.